there's always this debate where is there life out there? You know, is there other life? My answer to that is, oh, hell yeah, there is. The numbers, just the sheer numbers, is it such in favor of it, it's ridiculous. When you walk out in the backyard with your human eye, you see a hundred billion stars. Each one of those little stars, a little pin of light, it's got planets going around it, just like our sun. A sun is a star, and a star is a sun. So every little pin light that you see out there, just like somebody way out there be looking back at us, they'd see our sun, and it would be a star, just a little pin light. Out of 100 million stars out there with eight or nine or 15 planets around each star, start doing the math. It's automatically jumped into billions. And when you start calculating in the size of the galaxy in just one galaxy, you now you're in hundreds of billions of planets in that star system. If you take just one-tenth of one percent of what's in our galaxy, never mind the 400 million other galaxies, just our one galaxy, you have 100 million million populated Earths. So what do you think the odds of somebody's out there? For sure there's somebody out there. By the sheer numbers and just the fractions and fractions and fractions of possibility you end up with millions and tens of millions of planets. Yeah, I am absolutely certain that there are alien life out there. The one thing that's happened that leads me to believe this is the reaction to every astronaut, whether the astronaut is a scientist, a pilot, a researcher, a mission commander, every human being that was an astronaut that went out in space, every single one of them when they come back, they are changed. And that has been documented, medical, psychological profiling, studies, everything. Every one of them have changed when they come back. Now, why is that? Because once they get off this planet and get out into just low Earth orbit is enough, the, all five of their senses... You know, your eyes, your hearing, your seeing, taste, feeling. Once they get out of the chain of gravity of Earth and outside the atmosphere and look around, their little brain has just one conclusion. Oh, man, there's no doubt we are not alone. There's got to be other worlds out there.